So, it's not quite 6 a.m. in the morning. And we are unplugging the connector on the Sync EV charger. Why? Why? Oh, well, yeah, it did not start when we tried to do this from the app. So let's plug it back again. Great. So it works now. Fantastic. We can even listen to the birds chirping away. It's almost spring now. Thank you, Sinky V, for letting us enjoy these precious moments. So you might have detected a bit of sarcasm uh, in this statement. It is not the first time we are having issues with the Sync EV app. Overall, after nine months of owning the Sync EV, I think it's great hardware. The box is neat. The installation was great. But I'm a bit disappointed with the app. The software has let us down, frankly, and more than one time. So let's look at what happened here. I woke up, realized I had forgotten to get started on the overnight charging. I had not pressed the button to get it started. So my mistake, fair enough, but then why not just start it now? And, well, this is what happens. It gets stuck. Okay, never mind. Let's have a quick look at the history. Oh wow, quite a few zero kilowatt hours charging. So almost failed starts really. And that's what we have now. We have a bunch of failed starts. I can't get it started. Now, you will also appreciate the way to represent timing on this thing. There is such a thing as 052. It's not 520 in the morning, it's 5. Two. Now, the other thing that's a slightly annoying, why would I want to see the public charge points? There seems to be one in the whole world. Yep, that's just the one. Okay, back to trying to make this thing happen. Can I just reboot the device? Let's have a go at that. Yeah, yeah let's just go for it. All right, it's not happening. So that means we need to dress up, go outside and play with the cable. Right, that was not part of the plan. So overall, quite a few niggles like that. I really wish uh, SyncEV could fix the software because uh, it's that, but it's also the kind of pulse charging and the delay in terms of getting this overnight charge. So um, SyncEV, it's fine, it does the job when it does the job, but there are quite a few niggles, so be warned if you decide to go for this box or consider alternative boxes as well. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know of your experience with this or in fact whether you've got better recommendations for alternative wall boxes. Thank you very much.